Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Silly Stuff and Things. I have a special guest with me today. I'm helping. You are. This might be our next like business adventure. You oh, never know. Oh, come on, stop it. <laughs> hey, it's much easier than a food truck, which is what I wanted to do. This is true. Now, if you guys can't tell, I'm obsessed with charcuterie boards. And so um, we have a friend who just had a baby and I thought this would be like a fun little thing to add to a dinner. So um, I picked up some boxes on Amazon, some little cups. I'm gonna share that all that with you. And yeah, you're gonna make it look pretty because that's where you're good at that. Okay. Okay, right. so you're gonna help me. Yeah, she had this idea to like, she could do like charcuterie gifts. We're gonna do this little little boxes that she, she there's like a hundred of them there because no, you know there's like 10 okay well <laughs> apparently we're giving away a lot of charcuterie boxes um but yeah great gift idea i think especially for something like this because you might make dinner for something you never know you go to make dinner for something and maybe it, someone in the family doesn't like it very much right that could definitely happen so they have this as like as alternative you know or someone if, that just had a baby might be one of a few snacks well you know? and if they if they're having people over like they could pull this out and they don't have to deal with you know this could be for like a memorial service like a birthday party anything right um and like asa said maybe people don't like certain things so you can just do this for them yeah so here we go let's make a charcuterie box let's get cooking we're not cooking let's get <laughs> Charcuterie. Assembling food products. <laughs> You're going to notice that I am using different ingredients for this charcuterie. Don't forget, you can get, um, you can do like a theme. You can kind of be all over the place. This one's going to be a little fancier because it's going as a gift. So I'm going to do like the peppers and some artichoke. I got some biscotti, you know. Just whatever you want to do. These books are fun because they give you ideas, but as always, I don't follow like a recipe. So just have fun with it. But like I said, these are the sweet peppers. Abby loves these and they go really good with like hummus. So I'm putting hummus in oh, here. Yeah. So I thought this would be a nice little thing to accompany that with. Right. So Ace is going to make it look pretty in the box. We did put parchment paper in our little box. And these boxes are really nice. They're cake boxes or like pie like boxes, boxes yeah. yeah and you can get them right on amazon um so it makes it nice and easy if you're giving this as a gift you don't want people to have to worry about like washing dishes and getting your dish back to you so make it as easy as possible for them just get everything ready yeah kind of get everything ready and then i'll okay. do like the arrangement okay, side of it perfect. so a lot of these like fancy cheeses stuff like that um you can get these um at your grocery store we get them at Publix. they have like a fancy cheese section at Publix. Yeah. So if you're more on a budget, um, Aldi has an amazing Aldi. Is it Aldi? Aldi. Yeah. Yeah. They have an amazing charcuterie section. We don't have one near us, um, but they have a really good section and also Trader Joe's. Again, we don't have it near us, but I follow a lot of charcuterie Facebook pages and that's where people get their items from. Right. Um, these kind of things, are pretty cool to get at uh, Marshalls. So you can go to their section um, that have like different things from all over the world. And these are Italian biscuits. And the lady that I'm giving this to is from Italy. So I thought, oh, how appropriate. Right. So one thing, like when you're organizing this stuff, if you're giving it as a gift, don't use the half crackers. Yeah. The broken ones. <laughs> Does it really matter? No, of course not, it doesn't matter. Like if you're making one for like a lunch one that like we did the other day, that of course, you know, so you're just eating it yourself, but we're gonna go for the whole unbroken crackers. Try to cut things the same size, you know, so that it's just it's aesthetically pleasing. Cause a charcuterie I think is just as much just as much about like the looks as it is about what you're putting on there, sure. right? Yeah. Now, one of the things, um, I got those little cups because I want to do like these candied jalapenos and, you know, some... Like the roasted peppers over there. Yeah. And they're wet. Right. And olives. And then I'm going to take a Sharpie and write on the top of them what they are so they okay. know. I don't know why because it's not like they know what any of this stuff is probably, but you know. Right. <laughs> but with transporting it, you want to put the wet stuff in something. Yeah. So, you're going to have some plastic waste from it, unfortunately. But if you got another idea for something that would be less waste, that'd be well, cool too. And if we were at home, I have little bowls and right, stuff. Right, we use I the glass reusable, ones. Yeah, but when you're transporting it somewhere else, again, you don't want people to have to worry about 
They can recycle these. Best part about the broken ones? Snacks. Yeah, so we're gonna do, so all the little cup items in here, yeah. you kinda wanna get them in place, then get things around them, and then you can go back. So you don't really see the cup as much. See what I did with the tomatoes there? Yeah, I love that. So we're gonna take more blueberries, yeah. and just kinda, so it looks like a heaping mound, because it's kind of a tall box. If we're doing like a flat, see how it just covers it? Yeah. If we're that. doing like a flat charcuterie, that'd be different. But since it's a tall box, you kinda want it to look bountiful. Oh, you, you know what would be cool too? What? If you had like little um, disposable, tiny little oh, yeah, yeah. That charcuterie would be things. Yep. Isn't that pretty? It's really pretty. Dang. Sorry, yeah. I didn't mean to touch your book. It's okay. What if you put this in something? This is a dip. That's what oh, I want to do, but we don't have room. Watch her. That's real booty. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess it's okay. Can we put more hummus maybe? Add mm. Uh, no, it's I think okay. it's perfect. It's, okay. it's perfect. Yeah, I think yeah. so. I love it. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, so I talked about the sharpies in the beginning. We didn't use the sharpies because we didn't use lids. Right. Yeah, we we're gonna label them. So this you is, still could do that. Yeah. Thank you so much for your help. Of course. I am not good at the crafty like making it pretty part. That's where you come into play. You know, circles like like the the what is what's that biscottis kind of like in the circle thing. Do yep. that. You know. I stack things tall because it fills out the box more. Um, there's actually a cup in there where the peppers are, so um, so it just lifts everything up. Makes you know you want to fluff it, right? So like the the pepperonis, you don't just put them in because they come in a stack, but they're all squished together. Yeah. So you you peel them apart. You know, take that extra time to fluff them. You know what I mean? Roll your your deli meats up, things like that, because it's going to um, it, it's going to just give it a better look than a flat piece of deli. Meat. I love it. It's so. perfect. Yeah, it worked out good. Um, oh, also something I didn't do in this one, but I thought about doing it was using food as dividers. Yeah. To section off your box, you could actually make like a grid of food. That'd be kind of cool. That would be cool. Yeah. All right. Awesome. All right, we're gonna go deliver this. Can we hold it up? Yeah. Maybe they can kind of see it. Oh, okay. Is it heavy? Uh, yeah, it's a good bit of food. Yeah, we take a. Yep. There we go. Doesn't that look good, guys? What do you think? All right, guys. Thank you so much for hopping on and thank you because I asked you to come in and like sure, of course. make this look pretty. This is my first one going to someone else, so I want uh, it to look pretty. Yeah. But if you have uh, not already done so, subscribe, hit that like button, and we will see you next time. Get the whole family. Back. I know. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Uh,